Okay, well, the lighting's not too great in here. But I can have this moment where I, f I pulled out, I happened to get in the same day, a Lenovo uh, 5300, something like that, laptop. And um, this Think Center uh, A70Z, um, where they both were having video issues. I got the laptop for like $25. This cost a little more, it was like $50. But it's a 3 gigahertz processor and 4 gigabytes uh, RAM. Came with a 2 terabyte hard drive and it had the Windows 10, unfortunately, home edition um, installed. Well, I swapped out. So I figured that 2 terabyte drive needed to be taken out uh, for that price. Um, looks like it's working too, so I'm just going to get an enclosure for that. Should be 20 bucks. Um, this thing was having an issue. I'm um, starting starting uh, up before then, so um, basically, there we go, zoom, um, the uh, backlight would turn off, I found out ultimately, I thought it was just locking up or something was up with the screen, I took, did the flashlight test and found out, oh, the LCD screen is working, something's turning the backlight off, hunted around online and found a issue I never had seen before, uh, here it see us, aluminum, tape, uh, kind of uh, RFI EMI shielding tape, um, is wrapped around this cable here. Well, with the backlight cables, and there's another one down here, um, there's an issue when those are wrapped. So I had to unwrap those and fix the issue. So it's working fine. Other than that Windows 10 Home Edition, uh, eventually I locked myself out because I didn't have the passwords. So, and for some reason it wasn't um, doing a restore. I wasn't able to uh, get a recovery option. So maybe whoever had it before me was trying that. Something happened. I don't know exactly what. But I'm like working right here in this kind of box of... <laughs> there's a TDS uh, 620, uh, TDS 620As underneath there. And there's a TDS 8000 under there. But right over the side, there's the uh, P51 Samsung Plasma um, that had the broken plasma screen. And I've got those components. I figured I'm just going to sell those. And I was wondering what to do with the case. I was almost thinking I was going to donate it. And then I'm like, oh, I've got two of the 50 inchers that I've got to work on. Those screens are good. Um, they're not broken screen build, so I'm thinking I can repair them. They shouldn't be a problem. I think I already know this one, the issue. And then that one, I think I know the issue. It's just going to take a little more troubleshooting steps to figure it out once I get around to it. So I'm thinking, well, I've got the the 51-inch case. So if I've got, like, say, a 50-inch screen and system I can repair and install into that plasma case, because these are... These Samsung cases are nice. They're steel. They're metal. I don't think it's aluminum. I think it's a steel. Maybe it's even so they're metal. So I'm like, oh, I could take the back of this, basically take the screen off, mount, and should be grounded too. I don't think it'd be an issue. And I can even wire so it'll be a single cord. I can even add fuses, metal oxide varistors, fault protection. I can even add some additional filtering circuits. And and these get have the, the really broad uh, Visa mount, so there's room in between to mount the motherboard on. And I think I can take advantage of even this airflow from the fans to help with cooling whatever the system is I put on there. I've got this like sharp Roku TV that I have to figure out what's wrong with that. But the screen is good on that one. I have another one over here. It's a bigger, it's like 55 inch. Screen's bad on that one. Screen's bad on that one. But um, this little this little pile here, all three of those the screens are good. I think they're actually in here. I think there's the two, and I think this one's got a bad screen. So um, I mean that's gonna be the candidate because it's so slim. I've got another slim one I picked up recently, but the screen's broke on that. So I have to look and see uh, what. Uh, first I have to really troubleshoot and figure out to go from there. So I'm thinking I might have a new project where I'm going to try to hack in, uh, modify this to see. First I have to see what the video capabilities are on board, but it might just be something where I transfer it over to a universal video adapter 
uh, some kind of video adapter card and it'd probably be helpful to have multiple outputs while I'm doing it so I could output and basically still use a main board from whatever TV is going to go uh, it's going to go into the 51 inch case um, have basically the need for an additional video adapter board then so I can adapt this motherboard to work on that larger 50 inch screen there's somewhere around 50 inch um, I could also technically because there's so much room on those cases because I'm going to have those other uh, boards uh, removed um, I should be able to have like a KVM switch so I'm thinking I could have a keyboard video mouse switch so I could go between this computer I could have some other actual literally like I don't know if it would be like ITX or micro ATX but I could have some other smaller form factor uh, motherboards so uh, uh, micro computers in there um, also and still have the capability to have another external screen so I could have like two you know like if I really want like a video editing system I could have like 250 or larger inch screen side by side so um, I've got to look into this a little more if that's going to need to be uh, like a 12 volt system I don't know if a 5 volt system is going to be able to do the larger screen but I have to probably consider a 12 volt video adapter I have to get some more power so see what the current's going to be with like say the proposed TV um, going in and then the computer and then uh, additional um, devices so like I said I have like some kind of steel box uh, noise filter surge suppressor uh, so I have some additional probably can just probably screw right on the back of this so I don't even have to go inside but I, I could go inside too I don't want to get too carried away with weight um, but I think once I get uh, the system figured out in detail probably won't be that heavy even so compared to some of the like older plasmas oh man those are like those are heavy I think that'd be a cool idea so I don't know another one of those projects that I'm probably not needing to uh, start on because I have like all these TVs to work on and I'm like actually I think that one's okay I have to study that a little longer just to see if that's gonna fail this one I've got to study a little more it's been repaired see if they're gonna fail those the screens are broke so salvage components out of I've got the new scopes to work on, uh, I still have got the the Emacs, and then I've got the 46 old system, and then I've got the monitor. So I have, I have two of them. There's another one hiding. Oh yeah, it's behind there, behind the heater. Technically, that's for composite material curing box project. But I have two LCD screens to put in two of the Emacs. Oh uh, man, I have this. TDS 744 I need to take out and work on, hack that up to a uh, 784 these probes are, those are the bad probes of all the probes I got so those I can probably build I think I can figure it out two, might be a third one, I might be able to repair and make three depends on the wires are and uh, man so whew, moving along work to do, oh, I've got this one I've got to work on, this is going to be I think my universal that's a pro scan. Ugh. I think it's a 32 with a LB30Q. So that's good. I need a universal mainboard adapter. It's annoying. I think that one I've got repaired. And um, man, technically I gotta work on the other. I think that's a TDS, that's a TDS 1000 b Those modules are so expensive. I've got all these computers. This is gonna be my Tempest build. I've got one other case that's a little wider. I might use that one. And then those look like they all have bulging capacitors so I'm, I need to like uh, organize the boards I'm going to repair another one here uh, capacitors and maybe even an inductor I need to look into to repair and then this one here I just troubleshooted um, another Samsung, Samsung's I like their cases those are really nice um, uh, 
this the backlight's working something's up with the main board these are kind of nice unplug the main board can verify if the backlight's working so working on this one this shouldn't be too complicated to fix you just need to trace the board and here's that uh, the ThinkPad A70Z where uh, these I have to plastic weld a couple of those um, standoffs where the screws go in Need that one there those are broken off so it kind of also got me it's like hey that front cover I'll probably still plastic weld them so I can put it back together but I think that's going to be a good idea take the LCD screen off and then I can just mount directly screw basically drill hole maybe if I put a nut on the other side it might not hurt um, uh, I think I can even rivet I think I can even like punch a little hole rivet a nut on the other side there and maybe epoxy it so it doesn't spin I think some of those might be they might not they might spin so I can screw in the back of this case I think it's going to be solid enough even if, if not I could always make a standoff coming off the metal frame and then screw through both kind of like these uh, visa mounts are I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do this one I think this one will be a repair it shouldn't be too complicated and I've got these two I want to hack out because I think these will be cool analog portable technically I think these are going to be my small screen or one of them at least modifying to an LCD uh, the original CRT the GA adapter I have I was going to go right to the TDS 520 and modify but I'm like I really want to work on some other projects and understand the circuitry a little better before I start working on that and that one's basically going to be the memory upgrade the video out uh, the option 13 board uh, USB and I think I even can do a video upgrade so I can get color on it and then the signal generator that shouldn't be too complicated I think that's going to be a little easier it's larger size components so 8640 um, the option 323 version okay anyways uh, get carried away kind of a bunch of stuff to work on but it's kind of exciting moving forward finally getting uh, what do I have? One, two, I think there's a third one behind over there that are working. And technically that, what are those? The PN50, I think that plasma is going to be easy fix too. Somebody gave me that one. It wasn't too bad a shape. So that's uh, some of the stuff I'm getting behind. But I got to get work. I have to keep up on the outside stuff in the basement work too. So, yes, a uh, little update. And, uh, yeah, good times.